What's going on, guys? It's your me amigo. It's me, Rubix here, and I'm bringing you a episode of Rubix Craft. Um, I kind of started already. I tried to film some episodes earlier, and something happened, man. Like the files walked off my computer. I can't find them, and I need to eat something real quick. But I, I couldn't find them, so uh, I'm taking the opportunity right now, frantically, because I want to upload it today on Monday. So I kind of already started. Uh, I need to make a shovel because I want to. Okay, let me make a shovel before I get started. Make a shovel. I might make a couple because they somehow uh, been breaking so fast. So, oops. Let's make this third slot. Okay. So I want to continue to build or knock down this dirt. Let me fall asleep before um, I get my face eaten off by a zombie. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Okay, cool. It's light. Well, I want to continue, like I said, uh, knocking down this dirt because I want to build like an awesome, like kind of modern house with like a lot of windows because I have a cool ocean view and I want to see that when I wake up in the morning, you know? So let's keep knocking this stuff down. But I got kind of a funny story to tell or share with you guys. It's kind of embarrassing. Uh, as a guy, I think I shouldn't say this. But I don't care about the whole man car thing. I think it's kind of lame. But um, I had a run in with a, a nasty, nasty thing. Um, I, I'm not the biggest fan of insects. I know. They're, I know they're small and like we are way bigger than them. But um, some of those dumb little insects can like gnaw your face off and possibly kill you. So I'm freaked out about those guys. Especially spiders. Spiders aren't... Oh, I hate those things, man. They're nasty. But... Kind of a backstory. Like, I've been in my house. I bought my house maybe three years ago. Three years ago now. Uh, this month or February. And um, when you buy a house, I know your parents or even yourself. You own your house. You get, you get the master bedroom, man. You get, you get the cream of the crop. You get the best room, the biggest room. The best walk-in closet. And you get your own personal bathroom in your bedroom. And um, particularly, I'm not a fan of master bedrooms or bathrooms. I'm sorry. Uh, people think I'm weird, but I don't, man. And uh, I think, as especially as a guy, guys, we are not meant to be like the best. What the heck? We're not supposed to be the, the best smelling people. We're, we're stinky. We don't fart flowers and we don't poop potpourri. We're stinky. We're meant, we're meant to be stinky. So, for you know, save myself. I don't like using my master bedroom because I don't want to. I don't want to suffocate myself. You know what I'm saying? So I use the mass the guest bathroom half the time. So when I'm stumbling in the darkness in the middle of the night, going to have to go to the bathroom, I just go in there, just because. When you're younger, and Let's say you went down the street and you got bit by this dog, and you you learned, man, I'm not gonna go down that street no more. I'm scared of that dog. So you don't you don't go down that street. Or let's say you ate something and you got sick of it. You got real sick, so you don't you like that kind of is burnt in your mind. You don't want to eat that. You don't want to get sick. So um, I was getting ready for work. You know, I was doing my thing, getting ready. You know, you know, got dressed to impress. You know, I got to smell good for the ladies, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I was taking a shower, lathering up my, my beautiful brown hair. And um, in every master bathroom, there's like a little tiny window, or any bathroom, there's like a little tiny window right above the shower just to get all that steam air out. And, um, man, it was a nice summer day. I couldn't complain. Weather was nice. I opened the window, and uh, where I live... Well, you guys may have them too. They're called wasps. They're like the, the bee's evil cousin. They're a little bit bigger. And um, I had a run-in with one. And this guy, I, I kid you not, I am not lying. If I was lying, I'll be dying. This dude had to be built in a laboratory, man. This thing was huge. I've never seen one this big. I'm not, it's, I'm not lying. I'm not lying. This guy was bigger than a hummingbird. And hummingbirds are pretty decent size. I'm not lying. This dude was huge. And, uh... Man, he flew in like like crazy, man. He was like a sneaky little ninja. He came out of nowhere, and I freaked out. I, what the, what the heck? I screamed like a little schoolgirl. I am not, I had like a little man yelp, and um, 
I'm not afraid to say that because that was a that was a, a scary situation. I had to get out of there. Okay, man, it was scary. So I leaped out there so quick, man. I was so quick. I was quick like Flynn. And um, let's make a stone one. I had to get out of there, man. Because when you're in a situation in like, you have, I can't, I, I'm afraid they said, when you have like no clothes on, when you're in the new, when you're in the buff, you're in your birthday suit, um, your priorities change. Your main focus is to get out of there because you don't want any afflicted harm to you. Because when we wear clothes, man, uh, it's like our little shield, you know what I'm saying? And um, I think of an awkward conversation if, with my the ER doctor of saying how I got stung in my man, my man junk, and um, I had to get out of there because that that bee, that wasp, he had intent, and his intent was to harm and uh, afflict like many little pain to me because I looked in his beady little eyes, and man, he was he was dive bombing man and i had i got out of there and um i haven't really been inside my shower since um i i inflicted some chemical warfare on him on him you know i sprayed him down with some uh, bug spray or well, i i kind of stuck at a far angle i i saved distance so he couldn't see my face so he don't have to remember me and i made that point i made that i'm like hey tell your tell your hombres over there that have this be a lesson okay so um, I haven't been in that shower since, and uh, I it was my birthday on Friday. So I went out with my um, my dad and my stepmom out to dinner, and I, I decided to share them the story too, and because um, somehow we got on the topic of master bathrooms, and um, my stepmom's like, well, why didn't you put a uh, like a like a screen up there? And I was like, well, I know now, and um, I haven't been in that shower since, man, and. Um, I think I need to face my fears and uh, just go in there. And uh, I, I believe that guy's dead because nothing can survive that book spray. So I know it's kind of weird. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a strange guy. Like if something happens, I don't do it. I'm like very strong will, strong headed. And if I get like an idea and um, I worry too, I worry too much. And um, I never do that thing again. And we all need to face our fears because we shouldn't f – let fear lead our lives um it, like i'm a big f i saw a documentary about steve jobs and that dude is pretty inspirational and um he was very strong-willed and um i think if he let fear like live his life and worrying about if apple was gonna make it or not you know where would where would we be because i think especially like devices and computers like i'm playing now and cell phones like once if he was too scared and like if he was too scared to achieve and make Apple and stuff, like, because I know half of us all have iPhones or iPads or iMacs, or iBooks, or, you know, if he was too afraid to do it, where would, where would technology be? What the heck? So, I need to face my fears. That's all I have to say. But, but for, sorry for that little, that little story, I know, kind of waste, kind of, kind of, waste of time but um i'm trying to build this house i think i want to i don't know if i want to make a big house or a small house but I, I i do want to make it modern like i said but but the plans for like this kind of this compound um i want to build like a, a piggy and a cow farm over there and maybe like my wheat and corn and all that kind of farm stuff over there and kind of build like bridges in between them and um make it cool and i want to do a lot of redstone stuff i am not uh, a redstone master um it's, to say the least but if you guys can help me uh, help me help you i scratch your back you scratch mine and um give me ideas what do you guys want me to see me build you guys got any uh, suggestions like how should i do some things let me know i am all ears and i really really want to um fight the ender dragon and maybe get some black skeleton skulls and fight the wither. Um, but not around here, not around like the little house. Cause yeah, he's very destructive. He's an angry little mob and um, he likes to blow things up. And uh, I've learned that. I've seen, I've seen videos, you know. So I'm gonna continue making these walls right here out of stone. Boof, boof, but 
Doo, doo. But what are you guys scared of? You guys have any phobias? Like I do, I know. Um, I know there's a lot of phobias out there, but hey, if you want to share, share. Um, don't be afraid. I, I kind of made a fool of myself already, so we're good. But let me know. Because are you scared of spiders too? Because those things are creepy. Man, especially like when you're in sleep at night and uh, you feel one on yourself, so you knock it off behind your bed and he disappears and you like kind of wonder where he went. That's the, I think that's the most creepiest thing. It's like when you wonder where they went because you know inside their little beady little heads that they're, they're kind of planning something. And I, I, I kind of goofed this up, but they're planning something. And um, man, their intent is to hurt. I think, uh, I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I should do like a square. It's like a per, like a little square. I think I might just do a square. Make it simple, nothing too like crazy right now. But let me. Oh man, I know I have more stone. Okay. Change out that dirt. Cool. But ah. Cool, 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 cool. But juice, juice, juice. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. It's almost nighttime. I don't want to get attacked by any more mobs. Those things are creepy, man. When did they come out like mini mob, like mini like zombies, man? Those guys are crazy. They're fast and they sneak up like little ninjas. I don't like them, man. I might have to sleep again before I get when it gets dark. Well, I want to say thank you guys for watching. Uh, I don't want to bore you guys anymore, but when we get back, I, I want to film everything like. On camera, I don't want you guys leave you out or anything. So when we get back, I'll probably clean up this stuff more, and um, at least build some type of wall and roof. So stay tuned. Please come back. I really like you guys coming and enjoying and having fun with me. And um, I am signing out. My name is Rubix. There goes my alarm. My name is Rubix. I am signing out. You guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll I'll try to post more videos this week. You guys take it easy.